Peripheral vascular disease. Um, it's a very common problem in the United States. We have at least 10 to 12 million Americans who suffer from this problem. Unfortunately, 75% of the cases of PVD are not diagnosed. What PVD means is occlusive peripheral arterial disease, which means blockage in the arteries that supply blood to the peripheral tissues. Uh, this could involve the legs, could involve the arms, could involve the neck also. Um, <clears throat> the major risk factors for peripheral vascular disease are the same like coronary artery disease, which is uh, diabetes, uh, old age, uh, also smoking. Those are the major risk factors. Uh, the symptoms of peripheral vascular disease are very classic. It's what we call intermittent claudication. Claudication means a cramping in the lower extremities, which occurs sp at specific distance. Uh, the symptoms are usually reproducible, which means the patient will tell you that whenever I walk for, let's say, 100 yards, my leg starts to cramp. When I stop walking, the pain goes away. This is a classic history of claudication, and it's usually on one side, rarely bilateral. So if you have established diagnosis of peripheral vascular disease, your risk of death in five years is 29%. The reason is associated other issues with peripheral vascular disease. Usually when you have a blockage in your legs, you have at least 60% chance of having blockage in the heart. And you have 50% chance of having blockage in the neck and the cerebral circulation. So those patients die from heart attacks, they die also from strokes. I would not do screening on everybody. I would do screening on diabetics and also on patients with symptoms. Diabetic patients, you don't want to wait for the symptoms. Diabetic patients especially if they are older than 60 years old, they should be routinely screened for the presence of peripheral vascular disease. The Medical Minute is brought to you in part by Christus St. Francis Cabrini Hospital.